Oh man, oh man, oh man. Let's get right into it. There's been a little drama yesterday, a little bit of drama and infighting within the Truxton Army rats, right? What else is new? Like, this is expected. They always infight with each other because they're rats. They're called the rats for a reason. They backstab each other. They snitch on each other. They smell. They look ugly. They're the rats. They're the reason they're the rats. So, first things first, uh, <clears throat> Ricardo Cody was streaming yesterday, His one of his crappy video game streams like no one cares about they're only people are only there ricardo cody just to hear you uh, talk about drama they don't care about what you're playing and then albert menendez albert menen cock you know the hobo in a uh, florida prancing around with his shirt off uh the blue tarp configured with his hobo sticks and shoelace strings that idiot that looks like nosferatu <clears throat> he starts live streaming right and, uh, you know, he has himself, he has uh, the, most, uh, the most irrelevant piece of turd on YouTube, uh, Dean TV, which no one cares about. He just wants to insert himself into everything so that he can get more attention and possibly get more views on his main channel. But guess what, Dean? Your main channel sucks. No one cares about it. All right. Newsflash. And then uh, who else was uh, Carl, the short bus rider. Carl, who just takes basically verbal abuse from D. Reed right to his face. And he just says, sits there and says, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, Carl. If that makes you sleep at night, yes, it's fine. So then first Albert was, Albert starts off by making fun of Ricardo Cody. Hey, Ricardo, did you see that stream that Albert did while you were streaming? I know you did. I know you did. Okay. You don't have to lie. The same way you lie when you say you don't watch Slotham videos when you do watch Slotham. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, Albert's impersonating Danny Dolphin, right? Saying, oh, you know, me and Ricardo sticking this thing up there and we're making love. Like basically making fun of uh, Ricardo Cody's man crush on uh, on uh, Danny Dolphin. It's fine, Ricardo. If you, if you like and enjoy Danny Dolphin's content, it's fine. You can just come out and admit it that you're, that's your kind of thing and you swing that way. It's fine. So Albert Menendez is making fun of that, of course, yep. And then Albert says, he's like, I got one thing to say about Say to Slotham, one thing. And then he says, Every th we, we all know that uh, Slotham is full of BS. I'm full of BS, Albert? Give me one example. No, no, I'm serious. I'm full of BS. Give me one example of what I've said in my videos, which is, B which is BS. Anything about Darius Truxton, anything about Dean, anything about you. Okay, give me one thing I said that was BS, that wasn't true. Everything I've said is true. All right, you're some homeless bum, some loser that cucked to Darius Truxton for so long, and you're still cucked to him because I still haven't seen your rant video on Darius Truxton. And there was a comment by somebody, uh, I think it was Q-Tip in my comments who said, Albert will do the next rant when he has his next blow to do, right? Exactly, that's true. Because on that video that Albert did, the DT crown, he was hot, he was so high on blow in that, everyone could see it. And then he finally grew, he grew a pair to get that confidence boost into doing that rant. Normally, he's a docile cuck to friggin' Darius Trucks, and we all know that. So name me one thing which I said was BS, Albert. And then you're sitting there saying, oh, you blocked a Volpe and Dean on your main channel, so what? A Volp is an alt account of somebody. If A Volp comes out, makes a video with his voice, I'll listen. If A Volp comes out on his tr real channel, I'll listen. And Dean TV, he's the most insignificant piece of trash on YouTube. He doesn't even get a voice because he's that irrelevant. And that's what hurts his ego the most. No one cares what you say, Dean. No one thinks you're cool, Dean. You're a loser, Dean. You're such a loser, Dean, that you had to freaking make another alt account to rant. And that channel was getting more views than your main channel, which is 50K subscribers. If you're such a tough guy, six foot two, Greek God, which you claim to be, why don't you do rants on your main channel, prick? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know why? Because you need that main channel for that crappy income that you get once a month because that's what you need to make your ends meet. Guys, that's why Dean is so overprotective of his image because he doesn't want anything to happen to his main channel of 50k subscribers because he's such a loser in real life as a nurse's assistant that he needs that income from that 50k sub channel to make ends meet. If he loses that, then he's in a big world of trouble. That's why. That's why he's so protective of that channel and he doesn't want to do rants on that. Well, you're a scumbag, Dean. Now back to the situation, the, the topic at hand. So yeah, Albert, that's why, all right? You guys are insignificant, I ban you. But I didn't ban you, Albert, go ahead. 
comment in my comment section. See what happens. The snakes will eat you up alive. And you know that. You know the snakes will eat you up alive. And you don't have the balls to defend yourself because it's already shown that you're a cuck. Right? Okay, so Albert... Albert is making fun of Ricardo Cody, right? Basically right to his face. Uh, then Dean comes on, Mr. Oh, six, uh, Greek God, Dean, who procreated with the most ugliest woman known to mankind. Dean comes on and says his piece about Ricardo Cody, saying, yeah, Ricardo, why are you talking so much crap? You don't listen, Ricardo Cody. Uh, you don't know how to use the Wi-Fi or set up your whatever, your games. And then he said, and then Dean's like, Ricardo Cody, why are you lying about not watching Slotham? Ricardo, you say you don't watch Slotham, but on your recommended, it's a Slotham video here and a Slotham video here. First of all, let me make this clear to everybody. All these rats watch my videos. I don't know why you guys need to lie and, and pretend like you're not watching my videos. You all do. And at the same time, I watch your videos too. With the exception of Dean, because his videos were boring and garbage and it was torture trying to listen to him. But other than that, I listen to D. Reed talk. I listen to Albert talk. I listen to Ricardo Cody yesterday talk. Whenever he's ranting, I listen to him. I will listen to Rabbit Dude on a live panel say something about the drama. I'll listen to that. I'll listen to Darius. I listen to you guys too, so I have content to roast you and entertain the people that are listening to this video. That's why I do it. And you guys just lie there in the rat side. D. Reed, Albert, Dean, and all you, uh, Ricardo, you guys are just lying like, oh, I don't watch Slotham. Do you watch Slotham? It's like you're waiting for someone to say they do watch Slotham, and then you're all going to be like, yeah, I watch Slotham too. But then you're kind of testing like, hey, uh, I don't watch Slotham. Uh, do you watch Slotham? And the guy's like, the other guy's like, no, no, I don't watch Slotham. But, but what about you? Do, do you watch Slotham? It's like, dude, it's fine. You watch my videos. It's okay. I know the truth can hurt when you listen to my videos and that's what kind of makes, turns you off because the truth does hurt, but it's okay. You can admit it. So then Dean's like, yeah, Ricardo, why are you such a liar? Why are you such a fake? Blah, 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 blah. And then as Dean is ranting about Ricardo Cody, Carl is adding in his two cents at the end of every sentence. Carl's like, well, yeah, you call me stupid. Ricardo's stupid. And it's like, round of applause for that insight by Carl. Round of applause. And then Dean says something else, and then sentence ends, and then, and, then, and, and then Carl's like, yeah, and I know how to play Skyrim. Okay, round of applause for uh, another great insight by Carl. Like, C Carl, this is just ridiculous. And you know what, Ricardo Cody, you know what's hilarious? You're getting roasted by Carl. Like, I would never think that day would come where Ricardo Cody... You are actually getting roasted by some guy who rides a short bus 24-7. That's hilarious. All right, that's hilarious. So you got that going on. They're them ranting and hating each other. So this, again, infighting. They all infight with each other. And then, you know what really pissed me off? D. Reed. You're so busy, right? You're so busy with real life. You're such a little businessman, right? With your stupid fitted cap, receding hairline. You're in Darius Truxton's stream talking about AEW. Did anyone like stop by Darius' stream yesterday? Two hours of him, the most boringest live stream I've ever seen in my life. Some chinless queef on a premium futon smoking weed all day talking about AEW for two hours. How the hell is anyone going to find that entertaining? Two hours of Darius talking about AEW. Holy crap. And then D reads in the live stream like, hey, uh, yeah, did you see CM Punk got fired? Yeah, did you see uh, this wrestler and this? Like, dude, D Reed, F off. You're enabling Darius to do this boring crap and no one likes it. Stop being a cack. Stop bending over for Darius and be real. I just want you, uh, D Reed, just to mention my name in the chat. Just be like, don't even say a full sentence. Literally just type in Slotham and let's just see what happens. Let's just see how Darius reacts to that. That would be fun to watch. Not you friggin' talking about the Florida Marlins run to the World Cup or whatever. It's, it, I don't even know what the friggin' baseball uh, championship thing is called. And you got friggin' you talking about, like, wrestling. Like, dude, that's the most boringest crap ever. What's wrong with you, dude? D. Reed, grow up. Like, now, now you're pushing it too far. Yeah, you're, you have a receding hairline. Yeah, you film girls without their, uh, uh, you know, consent while making love to them and then showing other men yourself naked yeah you do all but this is going too far now you're literally in Darius's stream 
helping him talk about AEW. That is absolutely pathetic. That is absolutely pathetic, dude. Wow. All right, go back to your stupid pumping gas at Circle K. Like the friggin' self serve is not there. Pump the gas and then just friggin' keep dusting your wine bottles. Idiot. And then, at the same time, right, people are in Ricardo Cody's stream, right? And they're telling him, like, look, this is happening, this is happening. This is what I got. This is my beef with you, Ricardo Cody. Okay, this is why I don't like you and I don't like your face and I don't like the way you act. I know you're you're finally realizing that you're the the friend the, the friends you thought you had Albert Dean Carl all those people you thought you were your friends maybe Louis Pereira. And now you realize they're pieces of trash that just backstab each other. Okay, but this is why I don't like you, Ricardo, and I want everyone to know. When I was roasting Darius Truxton, right, Ricardo Cody was making videos about me when I didn't even know who he was. Legit. I legit, bottom of my heart, did not know who Ricardo Cody was. And then I would see in my comments, this guy commenting, and I would see in his video section, he was making videos about me. So Ricardo Cody, let me get this straight. You're making videos about me because I'm making fun of Darius Truxton, who is an admitted loser. He's a complete loser, no job, no car, no life, no girlfriend, dirty apartment, dirty vent, filth, cat piss smelling apartment. You're making fun of me, Ricardo, and roasting me because I'm making fun of Darius Truxton. But now you have Albert and Dean making fun of you right to your face, punking you right to your face. And you don't even have a set of balls to make a dedicated video roasting them. I want to get I want to make everyone everyone really let that sink that in. CPE, I saw your rant today. It's good. Just some advice. Make when you want to do a rant like that, do a nice thumbnail and do a nice title. Do that and I'll highlight it in my community post if you're making fun of these losers in the trucks and army. Nice thumbnail, nice title, good. But yeah, CP, listen to this. Like, really let this sink in. Ricardo was making videos about me when I was making fun of Darius. So Ricardo's there like a cuck, defending a chinless queef, making fun of me, making videos about me. And now you have literally Albert and Dean and Carl making fun of Ricardo Cody right to his face, pretty much right to his face, and say they don't like him. And Ricardo can't even do a dedicated video roasting Albert, Dean, or Carl. Ricardo, you're such a cock. Be a man. For, you're in your mid-40s, right? You say you're divorced. You have a child. You're supposed to be a family man father, right? Be a man and make a dedicated video addressing what just happened with Albert, Dean, and Carl. Because you, on the other hand, were so excited to defend Darius Truxton. What does Darius Truxton have with these? It's like some sort of curse, some sort of loser incel curse that he puts upon other loser incels to make people defend Darius. It's hilarious. I don't understand this. Hilarious Darius. It's at this level where you guys... It's like some sort of voodoo going on where you can't even come out and vocally say you suck, Darius. It's that, it's at that level. It's so pathetic. Ricardo, you spent so much time roasting me, trying to roast me, quote unquote, try. When I was making fun of Darius and you lost your channel, right? Yeah, good job. And now you can't even do it to Albert and Dean. It's what are you saying on your live streams, Ricardo? Oh, I'm gonna wait till September 19th when I get my stream yard. No, 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 no. Do a video today. Do a video friggin' today, tonight, and release a dedicated video explaining why you don't like Albert, Dean, and Carl. Because you took so many. How many videos did you even do of me, uh, Ricardo? I can't even. I don't even know. I never watched any of them. I don't care. You're insignificant. You lost your channel. I don't even know. Do the same thing for Albert. Why? Because you're a cuck. You can't stand up for yourself. You all are a bunch of losers. Dean, you're a loser. You procreated with the most ugliest woman known to mankind. And Dean, you know what? You know one thing about Dean? CPE, one thing about Dean? He's the most sensitive of them all. He's the most insecure out of the, all the trucks and rat army. Why? Because when the DT alt account was exposing the fact that Dean TV was paying, what, 40 bucks in property taxes? Because that home is in your father's name, all right, right, Dean, and he just lived there, right? When 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 uh when the DT alt was exposing all this stuff about uh Dean TV, you know what Dean TV was doing? Filing privacy complaints, 
Dean is the type of sissy that would go around if he doesn't like what he sees, he's gonna he's gonna file a copyright strike. He's gonna file a privacy complaint. He's gonna file this. That's who you are, Dean. You don't have a set of balls to actually rant and talk about and handle the heat. No, you got out of the kitchen and started filing privacy complaints. That's you, Dean. That's you. So how do I know if I don't talk about you, Dean, or put your ugly face in my thumbnail? How do I know that you're not gonna privacy complaint or copyright strike me? Yeah, exactly. Exactly, right, Dean? That's the thing about you. You go the other route. You go the other route of crying to YouTube saying, oh, this is a privacy complaint. Please take it down. Please take it down. That's you, Dean. You're the most insecure out of them all. Exactly. Exactly. You're the most insecure piece of trash sissy out of them all. You're the most sensitive out of them all, Dean. You just want your little ego stroked by a friggin' off five foot two shrimp Nosferatu and a guy who wears a fitted cap 24 seven because he looks so ugly without it with his receding hairline, D. Reed. That's you, Dean. All right, so all of you friggin' rats, keep infighting. I'm gonna be sitting here watching it all, laughing and commenting on it. And Darius, don't worry, you're still in the rotation. It's, don't worry, Darius right now is like, yes, my plan worked. Uh, Slotham is now talking about the other trucks in Army. No, no, Darius, you're next, all right, you're tomorrow. There's gonna be some housekeeping notes on you, Darius. You know, some loser who proposed to Ursha Gaming. You know, you got fired from Frank and Empire. Hey, how's those dominoes going, Darius? Huh? Has Robert came to you with more dominoes yet? They should. Don't worry, more dominoes on the way. And there's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet.